representation on this case, he has not provided assistance. If he was representation for this case, the assistance is ineffective. Well, my understanding is that Judge Smith has required Mr. Kiesler to represent you. Objection. I've addressed this matter with Judge Smith. Judge Smith does not have jurisdiction and could not prove jurisdiction. Therefore, Judge Smith does not have the authority to make any decisions for me. And neither do you. And neither does Mr. Kiesler. And neither does the Office of Public Defense. For the record. Now, as I stated, you just told me that you did not hear my question. My question was, I need the information for the people here who are attempting to force business on me. I want his name and position. I want her name and position. And I want his name and position. And I want your nationality. Not to point at me. And I am now going to ask you not to point at anyone else in the courtroom. It is very impolite. No problem, ma'am. Now, I'm asking you to answer my question. You know my name. That is all you need to know. I don't know your name, ma'am. Judge Laban. That is my name. Your nationality? You have no need to know my nationality. Yes, I do. You are attempting to force business upon me. I need to know your nationality. For the record. And your status. For the record. And anybody else that's working with you. Your questions are unintelligible to me. They're unintelligible? Do you not understand what nationality means, ma'am? Do I need to pull out the dictionary? Which dictionary are you comfortable with using, ma'am? For the record. All right. The record should reflect that I am going to give to Noble Amir Kusumir L. I'm sorry. Noble Amir KCL. A copy of indictment 08-07-0727 and indictment 08-04-0441. Objection, ma'am. Could you state for the record who those indictments are addressed to? I'm stating who you were giving them to. Objection. Wait. No. Take that back to her. She needs to repeat. She needs to state for the record. I am handing the papers to Noble Amir KCL. I need to know who's on it, ma'am. It doesn't matter who's on it. Yes, it does. I'm giving you copies of papers. I need to know who's addressed to. Read it. If it's not addressed to me. Read it. You've not read my notarized affidavits. Read it. You've not read my notarized affidavits. Well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give this matter another date. Mr. Kiesler, you can make whatever application you want. Noble Amir KCL, you can make whatever application you want. Hopefully, in the meantime, we will hear from the federal court with regard to the removal application. Well, I'm going to just state for the record that your application to do any further proceedings are denied because you have not proven jurisdiction, neither has the prosecution who was here and present. Prosecution, would you state your proof of claim for the record? Your Honor, would any motion by our office be heard on the next date or would you set a separate hearing? No, it will be heard on the next date. Thank you. For the record, the application to proceed to set any hearings is denied. It's not proven jurisdiction. April 6th. Denied. Thank you, Your Honor. May I be excused, Your Honor? This is the only notice that I will give Noble Amir KCL of the April 6th date. I don't know if anyone sends out, I don't know if Mr. Kiesler's office sends out letters reminding people, but I don't. I simply expect that you will be here on April 6th. For the record. Please, let me just say this. If you want this court to rule with regard to jurisdiction, it is very simple to bring the issue before me. All you need to do is file the appropriate application, a notice of motion. Objection, ma'am. You can file all these other papers and it's just never going to happen, sir. Objection, ma'am. That's not my problem that you're not upholding the law, ma'am. That's not my problem. That's your problem, ma'am. Because whether you people understand or not, you've all fired yourselves. So there is no room to set another hearing because you failed to prove jurisdiction in every hearing that we've had. Judge Smith has failed to prove jurisdiction. You failed to prove jurisdiction. Prosecutor Luciano has failed to prove jurisdiction. You people fired yourselves. I'm letting you know that right now you violated your constitutional oath. I'm protected by the Treaty of Peace and Friendship via 1787. Let me excuse you. Yes, Mr. Kiesler. Thank you. Is this matter dissolved? No, it's not dissolved. 